Okay, so uh, what we've done, we've gone through, we've opened up the whole house. Every door is unlocked, every light is on, every window and blind is open. So the place is ready to film. Now we go through our little checklist out here at the curb. And uh, there's some things that we want to make sure we do to take a good video. The first thing is you got to remember what the features are of your house. So you go through a little mental checklist. Okay, this is a two bedroom, one and a half bath, one car garage, single family home with a pool, without a pool. So you want to be able to know what it is that you're describing. Second thing you want to do is you want to plan your route to walk the shortest possible distance. The reason for that is when you're walking, the footage is harder to see. When you're stationary and you're not walking, the footage is far more pleasant for the viewer. Remember, you want to talk fast, walk and move the camera slow. That keeps the audio track interesting and it keeps the, the video track something people can actually watch. And you'd be surprised anybody who follows those rules can run a good video. All right, next. What you want to do is begin with the house numbers on the video because that will show you in the first thumbnail if you do a tight close-up see how it says 9846 there over the garage you want to start your video with that filling the screen that way your thumbnail tells you which property you're looking at when you're moving videos around on your computer that's really important you want to be able to see that in addition to that what we're going to try and do is uh, is try and describe not only the features of the house, but while we're out here, another reason we're here, we're gonna try and show them the neighborhood. So let's give it a shot. All right, so I'm standing here at the road. You'll notice I'm holding the camera like this. A lot of you might be tempted to hold the camera like this. Don't recommend that. You can't get as good a steady shot when you hold a camcorder like that. So if you hold it like this, you get far steadier. You're not holding your arm up in the air as much, all right? So I'm going to zoom, holding still. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got the 9846 is filling the screen. Okay. I've also got the time and date stamp on. I think that's good for disclosure reasons. So you might want to do that too. So let's go ahead and get this rolling. Okay, we've got a little problem with my uh, switch. So let me just check the card here on A. Nice thing about this, it's actually got dual memory sticks in it, and that's so easy to film on. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. Okay, folks, here we are at 9846 Daisy in Palm Beach Gardens. This is a, a beautiful single-family home in a very attractive neighborhood. Before we go in, I'm going to give you a quick idea what the street looks like so you get an idea who your neighbors will be. Everyone seems to keep their lawns pretty well, as you can see, and the homes are well kept as well. One of the things I like about this neighborhood, there's no HOA. This was actually built before the new trend of uh, smaller zero lot lines, so you have big lot sizes and no HOA approval or rules and regs. Now, before I take you into the house, I'll just show you, this is a really long, double-wide driveway, so plenty of good parking. Another thing I like about this house, you notice it's got a white cement tile roof. If you've ever lived in a home with a white cement tile roof, you know that that keeps your AC bill down. So that's a, that's a nice feature. Now, throughout this house, all the way around, you'll notice these white aluminum awnings over the windows, and those can actually be put down and fastened to protect you in a storm. You'll notice that there's a little area here and an area here that you can actually drop them and uh, protect the home. This window too has the uh, uh, has been pre-fit to add the hurricane panels as well. Now when we first go in, what I like to do is I like to give you a layout of the property before I show it to you. So when you come in the front door you'll notice you've got the kitchen, behind it you've got the one car garage. Here you've got an L-shaped living dining area. Behind it, you've got a Florida room, and off to the right, we have two bedrooms and the one and a half bath. So let's give you the tour. Now, you don't see the original June Cleaver stoves. I'm not sure, is that pink or lavender? I like it, though. It's got a nice feel to it, and it's in good condition. We also have a Maytag glass top stove built in, nice refrigerator dishwasher, 
One of the things I like to do when I'm at a house, I like to stand at the kitchen sink and take in the view. And as you can see, when you're standing here, you've got a beautiful view of the neighborhood and your front yard. It is a dual sink. It's got water and it's got the uh, sprayer on it as well. Now, out here in the garage, one of the things I like about it, it comes with all sorts of cabinets and shelves and storage. See the white wire ventilated shelving? It's got a garage door opener, which is nice. Also, you see it's a little oversized, this area here, for the washer and dryer. All very nice. It's got a door to the backyard as well. So let's go on back through the kitchen. You can see there's a little dining area chandelier right here, if you wanted to set up your dining area there. It is, it is a, a large L-shaped living room. And it's got a little closet here as well. There's your air conditioning return. It is central air. And here in the Florida room, I'm going to point out a couple of features I really like about this Florida room. It does have a wall unit air conditioner down there. That's a kicker. Or it's if you just want to add air condition this room. In addition, there is central air vents up in the ceiling as well. Now, in these older Florida room additions, if they don't insulate them, they can be quite uncomfortable in the summer. There's paneling up there behind it. We do have some insulation. So now we've got a door here. And all the way around, there's wraparound windows with a nice view of your backyard. And let's take you outside and show you the backyard. There's a patio on both sides. Really nice landscaped. It's got a chain link fence all the way around, which is a nice feature. All right, we got a little stone patio here. For those of you who are environmentally friendly, we have the clothes hanger here so that you don't have to run your dryer and get a little sunlight on your clothes. Also got a patio back here on this side as well. Your uh, gate, your garage door from the back. And let's take you back into the Florida room this way. Now there is still the sliding glass door so you can close this room off for privacy. That's a nice feature. So now we're going to take you over to the bedroom side of things. And I'll give you an idea of the layout before I show you around. To the right we have the second bedroom. Then we have the full bath. Here we have the master suite with a hall linen closet as well. Now in the master suite, it's got the double closets. It's wall to wall. That's a nice touch. Beautiful, extra wide. That looks like eight feet of windows right there so that you can take in your view of the backyard. Very bright and cheerful out there. Nice and clean yard. Also, we've got a side window. Got a half bath here off the master suite, which is a nice touch. And now here's another look at your, your master. Let's take you around and show you the full bath. It does come with the, towel, uh, the tub and shower enclosure. It's got an updated vanity top. And here's the second bedroom. Again, it's got the double windows and the closet here. Well, folks, we hope you've enjoyed this tour. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask your agent. We'd love to rent the property to you. Thanks for watching.